Hello, what's up mga kamater sa mga math enthusiasts and resilient students ng Kapalaran Elementary School at sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa aking channel. Hello, hello sa inyo. Kumusta ang ating pag-aaral? So, ang araw na to pag-aaralan natin ang addition and subtraction of dissimilar fractions with regrouping steel. I am your teacher, Sir Johnny Olorbida. Let us move. On. Bago ka lahat, don't forget to subscribe on my channel para updated kayo sa mga video lesson ko in learning fractions. Again, our topic, ang mga topic na discuss ko na ay sana'y napanood na ninyo. Ang lowest terms, addition and subtraction of similar fraction, subtracting mixed fractions from whole number, changing the similar fraction to similar fractions, and addition and subtraction of the similar without regrouping because today we are going to continue our lesson addition and subtraction of dissimilar fractions with regrouping na tayo magre-regroup na so let us analyze this problem find the perimeter of a triangle whose sides are 5 and 1 half centimeters 7 and 3 fifth centimeters and 3 and 1 fourth centimeters respectively what kind of triangle is this? Very good. This is an example of a scaling triangle because the measurements are different. The three measurements are different. So let us solve the perimeter. What are we going to do to solve the perimeter of this rectangle? Very good. So we are going to add 5 and 1 half plus 7 and 3 pips plus 3 and 1 fourth. As you can see, they are all dissimilar fractions because they have different denominators. So the first thing that we are going to do is to change it into similar fractions. Kinakailangan maging similar fractions sila para makapag-add tayo. Hindi natin sila i-add ng dire-direcho. So to make it similar fractions, we are going to get the very good. The LCD. And what is the LCD of 2, 5, and 4? Okay, that's correct. The LCD is 20. Meaning, we, we will divide 20 to the denominators. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 10 times 1 is 10. So, our first fraction will be 5 and 10, 20. That's correct. Next. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 4 times 3, the numerator is 12. So, okay, write 12 here. Then, 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5. 5 times 1 is 5. So, our fractions now are similar. 5 and 10, 20. Plus 7 and 12, 20. Plus 3 and 5, 20. First, let us add the whole number. 5 plus 7 plus 3. The answer is 15. Okay. Then, what's next? Yes, the numerator. We are going to add the numerator. 10 plus 12 plus 5. What is the answer? Okay, 27. So, just copy the denominator. Okay, 27 lang yung mga anak. Okay, so as you can see, 2720 is an improper fraction, so we are going to change it to mixed number. What will be the mixed number of 2720? 27 divided by 20 is equals to 1. 27 minus 27, and our denominator is 20. Then after that, we are going to add the 15. So 15 plus 1 is 16. 16, very good. 16 yan. 16, then 7, 20. So, our final answer is 16 and 7, 20. Good job, kids, mga kamaters. Let us continue. Tingnan natin ang susunod na to. Let us try another. Subtract 5 and 4, 6 from 12 and 1, 8. And what will be the answer? So our equation here is 12 and 1, 8 minus 4 and minus 5 and 4, 6. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is to change it into 
similar fractions. Very good. And what will be the LCD of 8 and 6? Okay, that's correct. Our LCD is 24. So let us divide 24 to the denominator. 24 divided by 8. Okay, 3. 3 times 1. Okay, that is 3. Next, 24 divided by 6 is 4 times 4 is 16. Ayan, nakukuha na natin lahat. Then next, we are going to add the whole, um, subtract the whole number. 12 minus 7, uh, 12 minus 5 is 7. Very good. 3 minus 16, oh no. 16 is bigger than 3. So let us rename 12. Again, what are we going to do to rename 12? Yes. The, the answer will be 11 and 24. 24s. Okay, that is correct. Then, after that, after that, we rename 12 as 11 and 24. 24, what shall we do now? Okay, we are going to add 3 24s. Okay, that's correct. So, what will be our minuend now? Our minuend will become 11 and 27, 24. Very good. So, 11 and 27, 24. Then, let us subtract the subtrahend. This 5 and 16, 24. As you can see, iba na. Ano, kayang-kaya na natin mag-subtract ng numerators. Let us begin with the whole number. 11 minus 5. Very good. 6. Then 27 minus 16. O, di ba? Pwedeng pwede na. 27 minus 16. What is the answer? Okay. Very good. 11. So, our answer is 6 and 11, 24. Do you get it? I hope na nakukuha natin. So, let us continue. Let us proceed with our next slide. Let us remember to add or subtract the similar fractions. Change the similar fraction to similar by getting the LCD. Proceed with addition and subtraction of whole number, the numerator, and just copy the common denominator. And regroup if necessary, lalong-lalo na, kung hindi natin pwedeng bawasan yung ating minuend. So, don't forget to express the answer in lowest term. Let us apply what you have learned from my lesson. John Ren donated 15 and 1 half cabans of rice out of 25 and 1 fourth cabans he had in his granary. How many cabans of rice were left? In the Philippines, what do we call to the place wherein it is... Uh, the rice granary of the Philippines. What is that? Yes, the rice granary of the Philippines is called the Central Luzon. Kasi napakalawak ng lupain dito at dito nang gagaling lahat ng mga uh, pala, even vegetables na narito sa ating lugar. So let us go back to the problem. As you can see, what attitudes or good traits does John Ren show here? Very good. He is willing to give donation. Give with your heart, especially during this pandemic. Marami nangangailangan, kaya magbigay lang tayo. Be a blessing to others. Tandaan yan, mga anak. So, let us go back to our problem. So, how, we, how, are, you, how are you going to solve this problem? Yes, we are going to subtract 15 and 1 half from 25 and 1 fourth. So our equation will become 25 and 1 fourth minus 15 and 1 half. So the first thing that we are going to do again is to change it into similar fractions. We are going to get the LCD. What is the LCD of 4 and 2? Very good. 4 is the LCD. So let us divide this. 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1 is still 1 fourth 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1 is 2. Ayan. So, same fractions pa rin siya. So, pwede na tayo ngayon mag 
subtract. 25 minus 15 is 10. And 1 minus 2 is again negative 2. So, hindi pwede tayo dyan. So, let us rename. Rename 25. So, let us rename 25 as very good. 24 and 4 fourths. So, we are going to rename 25 as 24 and 4 fourths. Then, don't forget to add the another fraction, the 1 fourth. Okay. So, our our menu, our menu went today is 24 and 4 plus 1 is 5. Ayan. Magiging 25 and 5 fourths na siya. Then, so subtract na natin ang 15 and 15 and 2 fourths. Very good. So, when we subtract 24 minus 15, what is the answer? Okay, that's right. 9. 5 minus 2 is 3. Okay, so meaning 9 and 3 fourth cabans was left in the granary. So, meron pa rin natira sa kanya kahit siya nagbigay. So, very good. So, I hope na nakuha natin ang proseso in adding and subtracting fractions, dissimilar fractions with regrouping. Time tayo, type A if you understand the lesson, B if you still confused, and C if you don't understand the lesson. So, I hope na naintindihan natin itong lesson today at sayang naman ang aking pag-explain. So, that is for now. Bye, mga taga-matters, sa mga math enthusiasts and resilient students ko. See you again on my next video, Multiplying Fractions. Bye-bye, matters. Keep safe and...